Last time, we, uh... <laughs> last time on the D&D campaign, Vogler Burger ran away from some possessed uh, scarecrows uh, in a cornfield. Uh, then they, they, well, Zephyr uh, and uh, Wainstrom got funky in a, in a windmill in a and figured out what was going on. Tracked we down. Foz? <laughs> they, they did some investigation in the windmill and uncovered <laughs> that there was bad shit going on and someone was <laughs> animating these scarecrows then they fought the scarecrows and went back into town to uncover the secret eventually after a whole bunch of finagling and interrogating this guy they figured out using a clever spell cast by wainstrom that oh the priest of the, of the the local temple master guy um was actually the wizard whose name was um Cornith. was Cornith. Not his original identity. Holy fuck ass. We didn't expect that. They stay at their friend Bob Fishman's house overnight and then went back to confront him uh and, and take down the corrupt order official uh who was spreading the rot into this area which they uncovered he was also doing. You entered the building, and he turned around and said, ah, I've been expecting you. I don't remember exactly what he said, but he basically said, <laughs> I'm going to kill you. And where we last left off, I had just asked you all to roll initiative for this battle. And today I'm going to be using these funny gold dice. Funny gold dice. Sweet. Ooh, a 16. Uh, 12. Oh, I also need a All right, the order is going to be... Um, Zephyr, uh, Wainstrom, Burger, Vogler Burger, and finally, Cornus. Yeah. He's he's standing there and he's and he's looking all menacing. He's covered in like a rotten growth growing up his body, looking all creepy, and his eyes have lit up in unnatural glow. Um, Zephyr, what yes. are you doing? Can I shoot him? Or does he know where we are? I guess I'm assuming because he yeah, we kind just, of just saw like us storm walk in. Into yeah. His building. <laughs> yeah, he he knows where you are. You're you're in front of the doors. He's in the middle of the room, surrounded by his kind of ritual site. Um, I'm gonna shoot my bow at him. Pull my short bow out. Give me give me a roll to hit him with your. Does bow. Does a dirty twenty hit his? Oh, hit you know that dirty Bruh. twenty hits him. Is today the day he gets all? Oh wait, there's a there's a new quote. Daniel called it Dungeons and Diggy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we digging these dungeons until we drag him. <laughs> okay, sorry. Diggy my dungeon till I drag him. That's fucked. Oh, uh, dungeon damage. on my dragon till I nat twenty. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Six damage. Six damage. Yes. Super effective. He's fine. Okay, you don't have to be like that. Sorry, what you like that? I did. I'm sorry. He actually, though, uh, as you pull the arrow back and you hit him, it strikes into him, but he doesn't even react to the arrow. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so God. God. Like, it, it sticks into him, and he just keeps that smile, and his eyes just keep glowing. Like, he isn't oh, feeling shit, anything. Dude. I'm going to have to oh, use, like, some fourth-level spells on this dude. Holy shit. Yeah. He might use some fourth-level spells back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, but I don't have Sorry, fourth, I, scaring you. I, I don't have fourth level health though. <laughs> yeah. yeah Wait, Daniel. Level before level I got like, is there anywhere that I can health. like, is there anywhere I can like retreat back to and like hide? Um, there's like some pillars you can hide behind those if you want. To I'm gonna hide. jump behind a pillar. Is the inside of the I building can't... like wood? No, it's stone. So if I used something with fire, it wouldn't it wouldn't matter. Would not catch fire. All right, I'm gonna cast uh, fourth level burning hands. He rolled a seven. Yes. He fails, so he's going to take full damage as you. Ask Sixty-six of fire damage. That's gonna be twenty-six damage. That's <laughs> oh really my good. God. You oh, hit shit, him with the really... You hit him with the. <laughs> And you see, actually, chunks of his flesh get seared off. But once again, he does not Ooh. react. Like, he just doesn't Fuck. feel any pain. Um, what? Chris, what would you like to do? Vogler. Attack him! Uh, I don't know why I said it like what that. Attack fuck? him. I fucking... 
Yeah, can we uh, cut that out, actually? <laughs> That's <laughs> sick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I should still do Javelin. Hold it. Uh, fucking 20, bro. Not not 20. 13 plus 7. Got him. You got him with a stinky, dirty 20. Oh, yeah. Roll that damage. Fuck! How much? I got a 1 plus 4. Dude, plus I'm carrying five. right now. I've done more damage is than both of you bonus? combined. That, that is, is oh, oh that's, that's not what the bonus, bonus. That's, that's seven then tattoo. And he hasn't done shit. Seven damage? You haven't done not shit. Yet. Yet. Or, As yeah. you unleash this flurry of blows, a javelin attack, uh an uh, arrow goes into him. He gets burned. I believe you two are still standing next to each other, but uh um Zephyr is hiding. He looks over to the two of you and he says, Now you will experience the full <laughs> power of the rot. And I need you all to make a constitution saving throw as he extends one Including hand. Including me, or do I also? Not Zephyr, I got a nat two. 20 plus 3. Oh my, oh, god. oh my god. I got uh 17 plus 4. Damn, all y'all right. are cooking up. So you both pass, and you are all going to take 18 necrotic damage. Oh my god. Although I believe um, uh, I have I have your resistance. resistance to necrotic. Does that mean I don't take any? Half that. Half that, so I only take nine. Yeah, you take nine. You take eighteen <laughs> necrotic damage as this like wave of necrotic zero. just just blasts over the two of you out of his Dude, hand. Eighteen would have been like half my health. So thank God. <laughs> I am going to sneak attack him. Twenty three. So does twenty three hit? Twenty three hit. Yes, it does. Um, so do damage I, plus another nine. Yeah, so fifteen back behind a pillar. All right. Five, five so you cast that spell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As you raise your hands and go for another fire blast, he simply raises a finger to his lips and says, "We'll have no shh," and your fire fails as it leaves your hands and simply extinguishes. Bro, this guy's nuts. Yeah, did that shit. He counterspelled you. Wait, can I no. counter? Can I counterspell him? But if you have counterspell, counterspell is a spell. Oh. He used his reaction. He, that's a spell he knows. Ow. 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 I, should, Ow. I, should, I should learn that one. <laughs> Am I in range? Am I in 10 feet with him? Yes. Okay, then yeah, I will use a lance. Uh, 18. Ooh, that hits. 16. Yes. Oh, damage? Yes. Once again, he does not react to any sort of pain, but you can tell he's starting to take, like, more hits. It is his turn once again. He's going to raise his arms up and say, Allow us to finish this. And I'm going to need everyone, in everyone, all of you, to make a dexterity saving throw. So, <laughs> you all have oh. failed. Mm -hmm. As he oh raises his hands, and a shimmering storm of hail appears from the cloud, appears from everywhere, and pelts you with ice and rocks. Right. You are all going to take twelve cold damage. I'm gonna sneak attack, and rapier stabby stab again. Eighteen. Does that hit him? Okay. Normally it would. Um. Oh, We're but all gonna die. As We're you jump up. forward to make your swing, he holds out his hand and a shimmering <laughs> barrier appears that blocks your attack. Am I like able to rehide again? Or do I like fucking you, 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 can, you, can, you can rehide if you want. Don't worry guys, I'll take care of it. Alright, I'm gonna try to rehide. I'll stealth check again. Fuck. So the barrier remains around him. He still has oh, this shit. barrier around him. Okay. 26. Is my stealth check. Oh yeah, you're gone. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use twin spell. So this is gonna be one sorcery point because I'm gonna use a cantrip twice, and that cantrip is firebolt, which um, is a two d ten, but that'll be four d ten. But it's a hit DC. I have to roll to hit it. Okay, I got an eleven. Fuck me. And then do Bounces I roll? Off. Should I roll for the other one too? Yep. And that one got a twenty four. That hits. That makes it through the barrier. Okay, so just a 2d10 yeah. then. You roll your dabble blabble. That is a 10 damage. Fuck me. 10 damage. He once again gets seared, but he is still alive. I'm gonna do fucking javelin hit again, Adam. In 25. Oh, Guys, you I'm hit. Kidding. You go I'm right through him. that barrier. I'm fucking hitting him. Eight and total. Eight, a little damage. 
You actually punch a hole straight through him, but as you pull your lance back out, he glances down at it for a moment, but looks back up at you without reacting. He's going to hold up two fingers and point them towards you, Vogler. No, like this. And three glowing, yeah, and three glowing darts shoot out. Oh fuck! Uh, and you are going to take because there is no save for this. What? And force damage. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. I'm gonna spring out and try to stabby stab with the rapier again. Twenty five. Oh, that hits. Roll that damage. Roll eleven that. plus eighteen, so twenty nine damage. You, as you step out from the shadows, his barrier gone, his oh, yeah. spells cast. How do you kill him? Wait, what happened? I did 29. I jumped out from behind the pillar and did 29 damage with my Holy rapier. Holy shit! <laughs> Rogues, man. Nothing to see that. He okay. So he was like, he's like focusing on um, Vogler and Wainstrom, right? And I'm just gonna mm -hmm. spring out and just like mid air, like flying through the air, just pierce through him with my rapier. As you do, uh, I mentioned earlier, a hole got punched through him. <laughs> You, as you stab, uh, you hit kind of like a like a heart in the center, but it wasn't where his heart it was. But yes, you you jump out and you pierce him in the back, and he goes, oh. "Tug it out," and he falls to the ground, and almost immediately withers away into a skeleton. What was that? What was that, Brady? About not about you doing all the damage? I just did twenty nine fucking damage. This fucker. Congratulations. Hey, in front like of you. Eva, then. I did nothing. <laughs> oh. You tanked. The damage. You did a lot. Oh, you have defeated him. He's now bones on the floor. And in front of you, you can see what I would basically call a giant pustule uh, that he had apparently conjured from the ground. It's this uh, uh, Wainstrom. You would recognize it as a as like a like a like a like a center for the rot, kind of like a spore from a mushroom, but it is ingrained into the ground, and that's where the tendrils were em emerging from, and it is slowly beating. Can I just like pick up his fucking thing, pick this thing up? It, it's 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 large. It's, it's, oh, and like, it is also rooted into the floor. Is there a way to destroy? What I know of a way to destroy that. Um, you know, it would, uh, get, give me, a, give me, give me an arcana or a history check. That's going to be a 16. Okay. You remember from your lessons that, um, these things do not like radiant damage, especially, uh, actual rot growth, which is what this is. This is the type of thing that's corrupting, like, islands, holy light. I don't think I have anything that does radiant damage. It especially doesn't like that, but you can hurt it, with, especially when it's this weak. I could try and cast Firebolt on it. Uh, yeah, sure. Roll a hit. Uh, 22. That's plenty. You shoot the fire at it, uh, bursts into flames, the tendrils sever, and it shrivels up. You have destroyed it. Okay, good. Hooray. Now you are in this destroyed temple. Absolutely wrecked. There's flames on shards sticking out of everything. There's bits of charred rot on the ground. What would you like to do? I guess we go investigate around, maybe. Like, especially yeah, like his, kinda... his room. Yeah, I'll go yeah, I go upstairs into his room. Let's investigate his room. Because I knew it was all like fucked up when I looked through the window earlier. I remember. Yeah, yeah that was the tendrils in this room that you mm -hmm. saw. But I think we should also investigate, okay. like every room in the building. To be honest, should yeah. we split up then? Honestly. Uh. I feel like we just go together yeah. and Let's just go look together. around. Yeah. All right. If you're all looking for things, please all give me an investigation check. Uh, not. Three. We're not Two. looking good. Things are not <laughs> looking good for yeah, us. Apparently, we're just blind. <laughs> we're, today. we're like literally blind. Like we see nothing. <laughs> well, um, in all the excitement, you, you don't give silly. a very good look at something, but you do find his upstairs. Uh, cellar, or like his upstairs room, and the door is unlocked. Hey guys, we found a room. <laughs> and uh, you go in there if you want to go in there. And you well, can see. I think we should go in there. 
he's got a book on his uh, on his on his desk in there. It's a pretty simple room, uh, but it is full of rot. All of that rot is rapidly disintegrating as you've destroyed the core. Uh, can I look at the book and see if I recognize anything? You flip it open. Uh, it's like a journal or diary. It doesn't seem for a long time. It's just like you know what I did today, boring notes. But as you read through it, it becomes more and more unintelligible. And he starts talking about uh, the saving grace of the rot and the power that it will bring this world. Gotcha. Until at the end, it kind of just becomes like unintelligible ramble. Uh, especially around the midpoint where he first starts talking about that. There are several pages that are just filled with get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, written multiple times all over the page. Or well, I guess he was probably a normal guy that got overtaken by the rot. Maybe. All right, well, I guess we're kind of done here. We can go back out, I guess. Still the graveyard out back. Uh, in the building. Didn't we investigate the graveyard oh, yeah. last I time? I thought we did investigate the graveyard yeah. a little bit. Yeah, but things could, have, things could have changed overnight. I guess we go back there. Do you want to reinvestigate it? Let's reinvestigate Yeah, I'll go and reinvestigate yeah. it. Yeah. Investigation. I'll fucking three checks. again, dude. 18. Dirty All right. 20. All right, we're good. Ooh! You turn around to leave, and having regained some composure, Winstrom, you're a bit shaken up by this, uh, by the by what you just read. So you don't, you aren't really looking. But the two of you, as you're leaving to go and to go look at at the um the graveyard, you actually spy. Actually, specifically, who rolled the twenty? Was it uh? That was, was me. Seven? Thirty twenty. Yeah. You spy that one of the bricks of his it's room perfect. juts out slightly, a little bit differently. And it looks like a switch that could be pressed in. Guys, guys, there's there's something that I found. Um, this <laughs> guys, can I do stop. it? Every, everybody, stop! I found a brick, and it looks like a button. I think we should push it. I guess we just push push the button. Push, push the, the button. button. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm pushing that shit. I fucking I go up and push it. Push it and it slides in, and you're like a clicking sound. And several bricks roll back to show a hidden compartment back there Ooh. containing a very sizable pouch of gold. Right. Along, <laughs> it's that fine. I found that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Ever I... heard of sharing is caring? Yeah, I think we Fucking split it asshole. off. Jesus. Fuck no! I've been money. poor my whole life. This is my way to fucking get. You don't my, care about your fucking get my life here. I found Share that. The damn I thing. found it. Oh my None of y'all would have found it. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Wainstrom was just fucking like, what the fuck? What is going on right now? I fucking <laughs> spotted that shit. I spotted, spotted it. Hold it's on. You don't understand. <laughs> I rolled a twenty. I rolled a twenty. Twenty. You don't I understand. The I'm the one that saw it. He said specifically the one who rolled the 20. You don't understand the, right the power now. of the rot. That's also understand. Not the only thing that's in What is in there? What else? What else? Yeah, right, go ahead. <laughs> wow. We what else are we going to fight over? over we're fighting, fighting, fighting over gold. Else. What's the other <laughs> thing you're going to throw at us to fight over? <laughs> There's a pouch of gold, uh, which you haven't counted, but you can tell it's a big pouch. It's like a bat. Um, And next to it is... Um, well, it's, it appears to be a big iron rod. I'll Very take it. Ornate Come on, you can well, have the gold. No, I'm taking I, all of I feel like the rod has probably, well, of the, the rod probably has something to do with the magic item, so maybe yeah. I should take it since I'm a sorcerer. Fuck no. I grab both of them. I'll let you have the gold if you let me take the rod. Fuck no, I grab both of them. You're not letting me have anything. You were, you like, were like, you were like... Hmm, the wall is really walling right now. Okay, and good I luck, fucking good luck casting a like, spell with a metal rod when you don't have any okay. spells. Like I'm taking ass. both of them. I'm taking both. I, I grab both, Daniel. Would you yeah, like to... Uh, fucking assholes here. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use charm person on... on... No, fuck no. <laughs> you, you know you can... Oh my god, can stop. Count. No, no. We are not can... getting in a fight again. <laughs> Thank you. I t I um, just grab I grab both of them. I haven't decided whether I'm keeping them all. I just fine. I'm fine. the okay, first okay, person okay, to grab fine. them. You can split gold among the party. Exactly. Fine. Go ahead, grab it. You would I like to count everything. or investigate yeah. what this stuff is? Um, I'm gonna count. For, actually, I'll we'll investigate. I'll investigate first. the staff. I'll have Brady investigate it. You oh, give right. me an Arcana check, then, uh, Brady. Can I also do one just to? Can I also do one just to investigate? 
I, man, I can't roll. You were doing dog oh, shit I rolled today a fucking oh. one. A crit- I rolled a <laughs> one. one. No more, but yeah. You know what, Brady? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it to you because I feel like you would probably you would know that sometimes temples keep a little stash of like magic shit. Yeah. And you've been exposed to enough magic that you recognize this little uncommon but pretty thing. It would also be uh, it's an Im- building. So yeah, it's an immovable rod. Oh shit! Well, I'm keeping <laughs> again. <that>. My favorite <laughs> magic item that I'm again. In, I'm I'm requiring you to have. Fuck. Okay. Well, have I. I've slapped the rod into my pouch. Yeah. Wait, what does the rod? What is the rod used for again? It's a it's a rod, and you click the button on it, and it stays in that one place, and it takes like an incredible amount of force to move it. Interesting. So you could use it for a lot of things, whatever you need to have a stationary object for. Yeah, I guess, Yeah, I guess you could keep that since you're a rogue. Yeah, you I'm could use it to like jump it, yeah. around. I have my. You want to know how much gold around. there was in there? Yeah. Yes, I count it up now. You three are all the proud owners of a sack of six hundred gold. Mm. Holy shit! Four hundred, one hundred, one hundred. No, three hundred, yes. one fifty, one fifty. I get three hundred. You guys each get one fifty. Yeah. Okay, I'll do or something, that. Something like that. Also, I think because I've never had money. Or I wait, or or already. why don't we just use the six hundred and get like a sh- our own ship? Are we able to get our own little ship with it? I'll hold on to all six hundred, and then we'll buy a ship. But it's like a party six hundred. But I'll just hold six. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll we can keep hold it for now, and then we'll split it out later. We'll split it okay, out later. Hold up. We gotta pause for a second. Y'all seemed like you were a little poor last time, so I thought uh, you might want you might want some some dough. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna get dough anyway because Burden's taking all of it. And you deserve it from that fight. You did very good. Excellent. Or wait, no. Let's go yeah. talk to Bob Fishman. Can we go give Fishman some wait, money? Wait, so is Braden keeping some money? all yeah. the six hundred? Actually, yeah. We'll we'll go. Um, we should give fifty to him. No, <laughs> I have a plan. Let me. Let's let me say the plan. plan. I have a plan. Yeah. All right. We um, go. We go we so up. can we go to well, Bob Fishman? So we'd have to go to his yeah. fish shop. He's at his stall. Can yeah. we go to his stall? Yeah. You go back to the town, um, and you see all the townsfolk have gathered together, and they're all in town square, and they're like, they're, they're like all talking to each other about something or other. And as you approach, they all point and they go, "It's the heroes!" and they start cheering your name. Stop it! Stop it! Can I and, gold? Um, <laughs> hmm? They throw oh, them. <laughs> I can I have gold. <laughs> Do you I think wasn't. the mayor is there? Yes, the mayor, uh, Jimmy, is there. I want to go up to Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. we definitely need to talk to him because I think he might be part of this, the rock. Oh, yeah. I don't trust him one bit. I think some suspicious. I could just, like, Jimmy. see into his brain, though. Bob. Bob. The only guy I trust oh, wait, sorry, is his name's, sorry. His name is Timmy, not Jimmy. I, I misspoke. Uh, Timmy. His name's Timmy. 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 He's, uh, he's kind of like a, like a big, like a big, a big fat man. Not that, like. But, like your like, average yeah, mayor. Yeah, he's wearing purple pants and a purple jacket and a big black top hat, uh, and he's kind of got some like gold accents on his uh, his clothes. You know, oh, we got one of those rich mayors, dickhead. Goes bull. <laughs> All the three heroes who who helped us. Can I? Can well, I, thank you. Can I cast Wait, my I'll, thoughts? No. I'll, actually, no. I'm gonna. Yeah, actually, you do that. You do that. And see, like, Cast he's, and, and see what he's actually thinking. Uh, you you hear his thoughts. I'm cheating on my wife. <laughs> I'm <You're> not che- <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> I've been cheating on my wife for the past six months. Uh, do a, do she doesn't it. know. Oh my <laughs> god, six months. <laughs> do a wisdom save. She doesn't know. I have kids, and I'm not gonna tell them. Oh. <laughs> They're never gonna know. Oh <laughs> He's crazy. fucking trolling every right night. Now. <laughs> yeah. Every night. He is trolling right now. He's trolling the shit out of me. Would you like to? Would you like to probe deeper? And, yeah, and I would like to probe. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm right. cheating on my wife. <laughs> <life. laughs> cheating on my <laughs> wife. That's his surface level thoughts. Oh god. <laughs> shit. What the? F- That's so funny. I might also try to charm person and see if I just give him, have him give me like a ton of gold. <laughs> That's kind of smart, dude. Because like if we do that, we could get a big ass, we could get a big ass fucking yes, ship, sir, and we could hire Bob. 
We pay yeah. Bob. We no, can't that's what I was gonna. And his wife. I was gonna that's what I was gonna do. That's why I said just let me, just. I said I have a plan. I was gonna offer him and his wife to come with us and be like our be on our ship. Big brain, crew, big brain so. moment, big brain moment. What's, what's the save? Wisdom. What's the save for um, um fifteen for for detect thoughts? Uh yeah, he rolled a five. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my so, god. I'm looking deep you, into that you, shit. Yeah, you <laughs> are. His deep, his deep thoughts. I'm siphoning. I'm siphoning taxpayer dollars for my own benefit. I'm, I'm, a, I'm so glad these adventurers were able to, 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 to take care of this scarecrow problem because I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna do shit about that. I okay, no so he's literally, he's not part of the rock at all. He's imbecile. just a fucking he's just dickhead. A, he's just, <laughs> just a shit man. That's what I said earlier. I think it's a dickhead. Of all right, there. wait. <laughs> and now also, I'm again, I've cheated yeah. on my wife several times in the past. <laughs> just not the <laughs> first time, man. <laughs> Wait, if I, I went down the can, I, can I use charm person for him to give me just like money? Uh, it does say at the end, once it ends, they will know you charmed them. Oh, I mean, is that really a problem though? In a little bit, if you take okay, his money. Okay, fine. What if I like? But just, no, what but if I just, like, how is he gonna like ask him for gold? I mean, you yeah, you you can ask him if you want gold. Can we, can we like? Can, can we like ask him for compensation? Yeah. Or make a. What do you say? Make a persuasion check. I mean, you could also flex the fact you're in the order. Yeah, I'm going to flex the fact that I'm in the order and be like, I just saved your fucking ass and I rolled a 16 in Persuasion. He seems to think about this for a second and he goes, Oh, well, I'm in. He, he seems like he doesn't want to, oh, and but I all go, the townspeople yeah. behind him look at him with like a... And he sees that and he's like, Of course! For the savings of the town <laughs> and the defenders of the rod, I will... Definitely reward you handsomely. He snaps his fingers and uh, sends a sends like a like a like a, like a squire, like a fucking messenger guy to go bring back, uh, well, along with oh. some guards to go bring back a reward. I would just like to um, thank you all for your great service to this town and our community. With my due pleasure. We are yeah. so delighted you have defeated not just the scarecrow problem, but have prevented our town. From facing a great danger. You've defeated the scarecrow problem. Light work, no reaction. Yeah, it was light work. Says the person almost died. Yeah, the guy who literally <laughs> I'm always gonna almost die in every battle. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. If you need our aid, don't be hesitant to ask. We can we can probably Hurry! help you. Ooh, we should ask him if he could sponsor our ship. That way we don't have to buy it ourselves. That's true. That's... I I'm gonna, agree yeah, with I'm that. gonna say that. Do I have to roll persuasion for that again? Uh yeah, give me give me a persuasion roll to. Wait, um, what were you trying to convince him to do? To sponsor us to give us a ship as well. A ship. Uh, I got a twenty three. Going to say that uh, I said I would like to do that, but um, you would have to speak to the uh to the emperor about that. That's I'm not really allowed to do that. Who's oh. the emperor? Or not the emperor? Fuck, I misspoke. The king. Ah, he lives on Greater Alertos. We're on Lesser Alertos. Oh. But I can definitely charter you a um, charter you a, a ship to take you anywhere you want to right. go. How much would you say that like a good ship goes or goes for much around here? Oh, an airship to purchase one of those bad boys? He went up there. Oh, that might be a bit out of repair grade. It's gonna be like thirty thirty k gold. <laughs> That's not far off. A good airship will run you around uh, twenty thousand gold pieces at the cheapest. Oh, it's an entire airship. That's like buying a. In real life, that would be like buying a shipping. Okay. I mean, there's tons of ships you can always hitch a ride on. Pretty Which cheap. Or you could just. You could also. <laughs> <Daniel's that. face. laughs> I wanted to buy a ship. That would have been so much. We can later. later. Yeah, we probably can later. We can save. We can save. Yeah. That's why I have the money, so that you guys can't fucking spend it all. I, mean, I know Brady would have been buying some shit. The, the, how much, the guys how much return, did he give us? Oh, shut up, Brady. And they, they, they give you um, uh, 400 gold. Each? each or Total. Rounding right, you up to I'll a take 400. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it in my plan. No, no. All right, I'm I've already the, added I'm the one it. that, no, I already I'm the one added that charmed it. the shit out of this dude. I take 300. I already added it.
<laughs> everyone's staring at you. You have no backing anymore. You're literally just dying. <laughs> yeah, everyone's staring at you. Uh, they're all that's staring where, at you, arguing over the money, the getting more and more uncomfortable. <laughs> Alright, let's, right. let's go talk to Bob. I'm also looking at those two. Bob, I guess Bob Fishman's just been in his idol animation this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been sitting there like... <laughs> That's so funny, dude. <laughs> he walked up to him and he says, Oh, hi, dude. Welcome. <laughs> Did you... I told everyone about what you figured out uh, last night. And the whole town's pretty fucking jazzed about it. Yeah, I see that. I think we're gonna, like, commission a statue of y'all. Or something like that. Say really? what? I mean, you did kind really? of save the entire town from total destruction. Nah. Um... Well, it's Burgos been great man. meeting all of you. If I can help you in any way, I'd be uh, I'd, I'd love to do that. I, uh, my we, fishing business is going well. We would love to have you. We just don't have a ship yet. But if you would want to, um, when we end up buying a ship, would you be a part of our crew party? Um, roll persuasion, but with disadvantage. We would have his wife uh, come nat with us. twenty. I roll a nat twenty for the first one, but and I she can, she can join advantage. us. Yeah, the wife can join. But I think else just doesn't really want to leave. Oh yeah, nat twenty for the first roll. Fuck, that's so annoying. Because I got a five on, so it's five. That's five. Five. He looks at you, and you can tell on some level he wants to. He says, "You know, I'm I'm not an adventurer. You guys are great, but." If I go out there anymore. No, Bob. Uh, if I go out there, I'm just gonna get killed. What if we promise you good money and and we will give you armor and weapon? Dude, I already make money from my fishing business. i I'm not a fighter. But you could also I, fish here and sell fish everywhere. You could do a, a traveling fishman. I oh. dude, I, I I stubbed, I like... Are you I sure you don't want box. to travel the map in the whole world? Dude, I picked up a box the other day, and it threw out my back for like a week. If I, I go I, out adventuring, I'm gonna fucking die. We, we could fix that. <laughs> I'm, right, I'm, I'm magic. I don't think he wants to. I don't think he wants Fish to. Man, Fuck. Uh, Bob well, I, would love okay. to chill with y'all and offer y'all like... A place okay. if you're here again, but he doesn't want to go with. Well, him. we're not okay. friends with him anymore, so. Well, yeah, we are. Okay, so give him give him some are. gold still. What? Hey, as a parting gift though, and a thank you for uh, for for being so helpful. Take this. He reaches into his bag. He pulls out a very large rainbow trout. He says it's a mystic fish. It's a mystic it's fish. Fish. Huh. Uh, fish. It'll give you. Bring you bring you great fortune in the future. Are, are we supposed to eat this or like it just to show peace? <laughs> uh, you got yeah, you got to you got to eat it. You got to eat it raw. Oh, all right. Like right, oh god. Can I take, take a, a bite? bite? Can I take a bite out of it right now? Oh yeah. Do I have to roll? You bite into it. We should all bite into it. Right? Oh, yeah, what is your character's it. favorite food in the whole world? Favorite food? Yeah. What's Probably their favorite like food? Filet. Uh, uh, human flesh. You are disgusting. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hannibalism. What's your favorite characters in character? Probably you fillet or steak, something like that. I feel like you would eat it like a, like a big steak cutlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Brayden. Um. Um. <laughs> what would I say? I want to say like fish or something because he is a pirate, so they would be eating fish. Yeah. Since my time. guy is like a fucking beef cake, I'm gonna say that it's it's like just eggs. Eggs, <laughs> like straight, just fucking raw eggs. eggs. It tastes <laughs> like so you eat your the shell favorite. too. You grab the shell, just like Gaston. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, it tastes like your favorite food in the world. And you all feel invigorated, and you all have a point of inspiration. Inspiration. Let's go, baby. Whatever. Y'all know how I don't know what that does. I have no clue how that works, but I forget how it uh, works. Do I. I have, what's what's like a good amount of gold to give him? Do you think, Daniel? We can give him. Mm, I'll say ten. In terms of like the economy, like what's like a good amount that he'll be like, oh, that's good, but also not like 
too much. Ten gold is actually quite a lot. Like he could get a good bit. Then I'll give him All five. Right, let's give him like eight. Yeah, he, uh, he thanks you profusely for your gift, and he seems genuinely touched I give by him, it. Yeah, we give him a thousand, or we not a thousand. We give him thirteen. Oh, and we tell we him, him we'll, we'll visit. We'll visit him later. Yeah. Do we'll not back. give him a thousand, please. Yeah, and we that, tell him we'll if be he back. ever needs anything, we'll always help. Give him a contact number. Give him. That doesn't give exist. Him a, no, give him some he's, he's very happy. He gives you a salute. It's, um, thanks you profusely. Oh yeah, and the way pers um, per, per, per inspiration works, at any time, at any point, you can say, I want to cash in my inspiration point, or I want to use my inspiration. How do I say I have inspiration? There's a little box just, that says inspiration. Oh, you can just, you just click it. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Anytime you want, you can use that inspiration to re-roll Oh. Any check you make. Nice. Any attack roll or saving throw or check, just say inspiration. You can reroll. And then you've expended. Is that for all of us? We all have that? Yep, you all have one. You can only have one inspiration point at a time. That's cool. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's my, that's my way to give you all inspiration because you did really good fighting that boss. Yay. Thank you. And you nerfed the shit out of it so that way I didn't die. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They, you more just like directed it at Chris. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Chris, we're stopping this episode here, and we will see you on the next time. Peace. See ya. We like Bob Fishman. Yes, we do.